Welcome back. In this one, we want to show you the differences between our regular spreader, our shallow water spreader, and our XL goose spreader. Now they all function in the same way. You can connect them together. You get the decoys moving in different directions. You can build all these into the ultimate by connecting two of them together. But each one is a little bit different and meets a certain need. And we're gonna show you those differences so you can make the right choice in the spreader that you pick up. We're gonna start off with the regular spreader. And as you can see, the regular spreader is made up of a 15 inch section, a 15 inch with a ferrule section, and then this five inch drop arm. Now this five inch drop arm is designed for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we designed this thing because you get a, a wider range of motion from decoy to decoy when you have this drop arm. Secondly, the decoy sits under the water by about eight to 10 inches. If you hunt with a dog, a dog is able to swim right over this bar because it's under the water. Because of that, you need about 12, 10 to 12 inches of water for this to work properly. 12 inches or more, you can use it in as deep a water as you want. So this here is the shallow water spreader. Very similar, it's got a 15 inch piece. It's got the 15 inch piece with the ferrule but as you can see it's missing that five inch drop arm you lose that drop bar and now this spreader can operate in about four or five inches of water this is the regular spreader and then you can see how much shallower the shallow water spreader is and then we have our goose spreader now this is our XL goose spreader. And as you can see, we have a 15 inch arm. Then we have a 15 inch arm with a ferrule. And we have a second 15 inch arm with a ferrule. And then the drop arm. This arm is 15 inches longer than the arms of our regular spreader and our shallow water spreader. You get the ability to use larger decoys. Goose decoys work awesome. Magnum decoys work awesome on this thing. What we suggest is any decoy over 22 inches, you put on the XL Goose Spreader. That's the goose. Let me show you with some decoys on. All right, there you go. Now you can make the choice what spreader you need. The regular spreader, the shallow water spreader, or the XL goose spreader. Now many people have asked, can you mix and match? Can you put an XL goose spreader with a regular spreader so you get that kind of diversity in the distance of the decoys? And the answer is absolutely yes. They work great together. You can use a connection bar and connect them in the exact same way that you would an ultimate spreader. It looks fantastic, it works great. Hope you guys slay them this year. This is Ben with Motion Ducks. See you on the next one.